Out here with the birds this morning. This is a 40 foot gooseneck. And we are building the biggest honking tiny house I have ever seen. So, picked up my subfloor, the Advantech one and one eighth inch flooring. That's huge, considering your standard three quarters about to right there. So, yep, great stuff. Got 15 pieces of that. They weigh about 125 pounds a sheet, and I got all my lovely foam. It's a mixture of three quarters and one inch pieces. Those are the one inch pieces. Um, and then I'm just cutting them to 14 and a half inches or a little bit over that so they kind of smoosh in down here for my foundation. And we'll probably put about one and a half inches down here. In Texas, the, the climate really doesn't get too cold in the winter. So this is a nice wind and thermal block. And then there'll be a little bit of an air space between that and the subfloor. Um, and so we're gonna put down I think what we're going to do is we're going to put down these panels on the insulation then we're going to spray foam around inside the border all along the edge and then stick another panel on top kind of sandwiching it in place and then the uh, the spray foam will kind of just seal all the edges so that's that's the plan we're going to be doing that along all of this so yep ready to get going on top of the deck um, putting down the polystyrene foam. Um, it's pretty easy. All I'm doing to get a nice uniform layer across here, because this is just going on the runners, is I'm just using a two by two stick. Two by four would work as well. I'm just putting it in and lowering one corner in first and then just walking on it and just stepping, stepping down. And then it's nice and flat across there, and I just go to the next one and do the same. So yeah, one corner goes in first, and then step on the opposite side. But uh, I cut these a little bit, a little bit wider than 14 and a half inches, just so that they, um, they'd stick a little bit better and close off the gap. You can see there's uh, there's no no gap in between there, so just a little bit more air tightness. Um, just don't cut it too much wider or else you're not going to be able to fit your panels down in there. David and I are out here putting the foam down. And so what we're doing is we are putting down one layer with the foil facing down. And then we are coming back and we are spraying with great stuff, whatever kind of foam you want, I guess, just along the edges. And then putting down another um, piece face up so the foil is up and just piecing together and smushing it down and then moving on. Got the uh, foam down and the spray foam down on it. Uh, just one thing to mention is that uh, when you put the foam down um, and then put the um, spray the big stuff or the good great stuff into it and then put the other foam down on top of it, it's going to push out the bottom a little bit. So after you have put that all down, come back after like three, five minutes and push up from the bottom, especially along the edges. There wasn't any bulging happening where there were the wood runners, but along the edges especially. Um, and then up here we're putting some braces in between the 2x4s so that there's no rotation of the 2x4. I didn't think there was going to be, but um, it is recommended. Um, we're just laying them in flat like this. Like I said, I don't think there's going to be a problem with um, rotation. But, um, yeah, just to make sure that everything stays the right way. So, yeah, David is hammering them all into place, and we're just putting them a little bit below what would be flush because they're not actually supporting the subfloor. They're just keeping all the beams from moving. So yeah, about 45 pieces of 14 and a half inch. And then coming back with the nail gun and shooting them into place. So we have gotten the Advantech flooring down on one part. Um, we just have it overhanging here and we're just gonna cut it off with a circular saw. It's about 18 inches overhang. 
um, and then we'll have full a full width piece here and then another 32 inches we didn't want to put start with a full coarse piece of 48 inches and then do another 48 inches and then have I think it would have been like 16 inches um, just overhanging the edge that just didn't seem like that would be structurally um, as good as doing 32 inches 48 inches 32 inches um, so yeah there's gonna be waste doing it that way but it this is the foundation and you really don't want to take any chances with it so this Advantech is pretty pretty amazing um, you can see the thickness of it um, it's almost as thick as a 2 by 4 it's 1 and 1 8 um, Advantech and like I said this is overhanging the edge of the 2 by 4 right here by 18 inches and yet when I stand on this edge it doesn't even go down you can see I'm standing on the edge and it's not even moving um, you can see whoop, you can see that's how far it's it's overhanging the edge and even with my weight up here this stuff doesn't budge um, also I wanted to give a little demonstration because wood likes to suck up water that's what wood does that's what it was made to do but when you pour this water on here if you can see that it just all beads up it's not even uh, not even being absorbed this is amazing so anyways this stuff is good flooring they've got a lifetime warranty with it um, as long as you adhere it down and glue it I think if the whole trailer were to fall apart this stuff would still be standing so yeah this uh, this is one and one eighth so it is thicker than the three quarter or the 23 30 second but um, it's worth it I think these were 40 bucks a piece for this